Voting is one of the most fundamental acts of citizenship and really we're so blessed to live in a, a constitutional system that relies on the participation of its, of its democratic base. To be a voter is a tremendous amount of power and a tremendous amount of responsibility and it, it requires of citizens that they inform themselves about the issues that are at stake. Uh, really, it's, it's a huge responsibility. It's, it's not something uh, to, take, to take lightly and just to wake up uh, one Tuesday morning and go um, as, as the mood might move us. We really have a responsibility to know the issues, to know what's at stake, to know what, what it means when we uh, vote for a particular candidate, because that will affect the world that we live in. In this election cycle, the, the presidential race is the most dramatic, it drives raving, ratings, and so the media cover it most intensely, but there's also a huge number of down-ballot uh, elections and uh, a number of state questions. And uh, for the Oklahoma residents, for Oklahoma students, um, they're asked to be a part of a very strong populist streak, uh, long tradition, long heritage in Oklahoma of putting questions directly to the people, major questions of law and policy uh, that we ask the voters to decide directly. And um, this, this election cycle, there really are huge questions about how we fund education, about uh, what kinds of alcohol you can buy where that the people are being asked to decide. And for, for non-resident voters, for, for out-of-state students, uh, it's important that they, that they pay attention to all of the issues that are on their state ballots and that, that they uh, realize that, that uh, absentee balloting is a very important part of, of contemporary democratic practice. OU is a public university. We're, we're part of the, the fabric of public life, and public universities in particular have uh, a, pr a special responsibility to train their students for citizenship, uh, to, to help them become civically engaged. It's, it's part of our mission. It's, it's fundamental. It's not sort of something we do on the side. It's really at the core of who we are and what we do. If you look at the, the seal of the University of Oklahoma, it says Kiwi et Republicae, and that means for the citizen and for the country. It, it means that the university exists to help cultivate citizens, that is to help uh, students decide their values, their, their identity, their responsibilities as members of a political community. And it's about our institutional responsibility to be part of uh, a Republican system where power is put in the hands of the people. Uh, going back to the very foundations of this country, there's a strong belief that because so much power is put in the hands of the people, uh, the people have to be educated, that, that they have to be provided educational opportunities, and that, that they have responsibilities to, to become educated, to become informed participants. It's, it's the, the flip side of power in a Republican constitutional system is the, the necessity of education. And as a public university, we're, we're right at the center uh, of that relationship between civic engagement and uh, public life. I think as an institution, OU tries very hard to provide a variety of different ways that students can be civically engaged and can become more informed participants in the democratic process. Some of that's curricular, it happens in the classroom, some of it's extracurricular, it happens in the residential halls, it happens in student organizations. Uh, and it happens in places like the libraries. I'm really grateful that University Libraries is uh, seizing the opportunity to help uh, use its resources to, to help students become more informed voters. And one place where they can do that is at guides.ou.edu slash OUVotes2016, where all kinds of resources uh, to help, to help um, citizens become more informed about the, the issues and the candidates in this election are available for exploration.